what's going guys welcome to my youtube channel it's been a while since i posted but um i've been busy a lot and yeah i am now using unreal engine boom give me a what what anyways i'm going to show you guys how to create a night scene in unreal engine we're going to be using brush and fire so you can get it from epic games so pretty much um i think it's around 50 bucks or so so yeah all right, let's begin. So this is a just a fresh game uh, interface when you open on Real Engine and you're using the game uh, settings mode. Obviously, I don't need all these chairs and whatnot, so I'm just gonna go in here. And if you click the bottom of the static meshes and then you hold down Shift, you click the top. It, it you know it it highlights all the folder. You can just easily delete. So now the first thing I I like to do is if you guys notice when I move up here, you can see the lighting sort of goes down and up you know it's just not nice and if you're actually doing cinematics it's gonna be a huge problem so you're gonna go down to the global post-process volume or you can actually come over here to add that if you don't have it and then I'm gonna quite type in you and uh, just scroll down so we are looking for brightness you see maximum brightness and minimum brightness the settings are quite kind of messed up. So I think I missed it. I just have to find it here. Yeah, on real edge. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I just missed it again. And where is on okay, it's on the exposure, so it's UE actually. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Oh, what did I do? So UE and that'll bring up the exposure. Oh, huh, for some reason it didn't. Okay, just weird. Anyways, you, you just want to type in U and look for the exposure type. And um, we are going to change this to one and one. So if we do this, you can see that it's not having that, you know, lighting change. If you want to make this zero, you can actually do that, but don't do that, all right? So it will make sense. Anyways. Let us begin to populate our scene, all right? Now, keep in mind, I'm using Brushifier. Uh, I, they have nice packs of buildings, so we're just gonna use a couple of them, and then I'm gonna go to the pre lab city blocks, and then squares. So we can see we have variety of buildings here. So I'm just gonna select, let's, just, let's bring in this one. So when we bring in this one, we have something like this. Mm, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. So let me, and they even give us like a grass and tree. So let's add another one. We can add in another one here. So I am just gonna drag this. Again, we're just populating the scene. All right. I'm just gonna add this here. Looks good. Let's add in. Uh, let's add in this one. Just gonna move it. So you can you can't really do this in Maya, all right? <laughs> I doubt if you can do this in Maya. So obviously, what I want to do with this one is I am going to click my stuff here, remove this U, and I'm gonna go up. Maybe scale it to five, five, five. Because I want the CD to be really, really big from that angle. Just like that. Okay. Obviously, we need to add some roads. and um, But we're not going into great details. Just create a simple CD. So let's add another one around here. Actually, that's the same one we added. So... Let's see this one. Boom. I'm gonna make this maybe three, three, three. And just push it back. All right, so it's coming together. We're having a nice CD sort of. <laughs> and I'm gonna go back to Prefix and they actually have like residential buildings and um, parks. Look at that, we have we also have parks as well. You can just add that in, but we don't need that. 
so we ignore that so let's add in some residential building in, in, yeah, I can add in this one just sort of like push it back and I'll make this 10 10 10 so brushing fire makes building a city very very easy to populate your scene and make it look realistic so y'all go check that out all right so let's add some here um, I'm gonna use another one here see this one let's drag it back Drag it back and I'll make this 15 so the further they are from the cinema from your camera you just remember to increase the size so so they'll look bigger right just like that boom okay I think this one we can actually make it bigger as well uh, 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 uh. So you guys can see how Unreal Engine runs very fast like literally I'm not even stressing look at this boom we have our city well maybe we need to add something there let's just add something just for something's sake you know what I mean I'll make this 20 20 20 looks nice let's take it back just a little bit yeah okay pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool so now we need to work on the lighting so the first thing I'm gonna do is you want to figure out this directional lighting like what is like how is it lighting is it daytime or nighttime so let's see I'm gonna go to my light source here it's right there and if we rotate this you can see that the shadows are going that way so this will be night scene so when this covers everywhere that's the night so it's dark already see that however we have our our sky looking weird still the same thing and actually you can actually refresh the material to see that it's dark here so yeah but again it's not fully a night scene all right oh a mistake so now that will be the daytime coming in it's not fully a night scene so we want to make it fully night scene all right so the way I'm going to do this is to come over to the BP sky sphere and let us do some corrections all right so I'm going to remove this from colored by determined and then we can actually just make this dark still looks bright so we got to make this dark as well boom there you have it ladies and gentlemen we have a dark sky but with a bright cloud you can actually change the cloud color if you want make it just to have maybe a, maybe a little bit just a blue sky you know I don't know if clouds are blue but it's your choice you can actually play with this you know for me I'm just gonna make it look very very faded very faded like literally very faded like that just to have like you know a little bit of clouds so that's looking really good all right <clears throat> so let's go over to our cloud mm, cloud speed I don't think we want the speed of the cloud to be moving too fast but we can have that for fun actually let's have it for fun because the cloud is simulated that's awesome anyways so now we're going to increase the star brightness and boom we have a night scene looks really good looks really good we can have a bunch of people just doing their thing here you know if you build on roads you can have cars moving it's very nice so I'm gonna turn this atmospheric fog off and um, let's see the sky no the skylight we need that um, 
think that's about it and now I'm going to go back to the light source and you can actually reduce the intensity of the light because we don't really need the daytime light you know because it's nighttime scene so yeah so yeah pretty much you have that here and if you go to your global process settings go to the world settings I think you can do some adjustment on the exposure I'm pretty positive you can't do that yeah let me see if I can find it real quick static lighting level okay I didn't do nothing so you guys can see that the way Unreal Engine has their you know lighting all set up is very very different from you know 3d models I'm gonna turn on my ambient occlusion very important you have that on so anyways I don't think I can find that right now but if I do I will let you guys know so pretty much that's all about it here um I can go ahead to build my light so lighting quality you can build it but again I don't think there's any light to be built <laughs> just because it's an I turned the light off so if I had in my like a direction no, oh not that if I had in like a, a point light let's see lights point lights yeah now it will tell me to build the lights so again you can go ahead to add in some lights let's see if we can add in a little bit and then we can actually increase the lighting the light intensity brighten things up so yeah Unreal Engine is really good man you know it, you can easily just get a scene and um, you know start working on it another thing you can do with the B spear is you can actually increase the star brightness so look at that uh, it looks like you you have a Christmas right <laughs> Christmas lights and then we can go ahead to add in a fog height fog boom now we can see what we have very nice fog happening but it's a little bit weird because it's too too much so let's just reduce that let's bring this here pretty much yeah yeah so ladies and gentlemen we are done so this is what I know as of now about Unreal Engine building cities and making a night scene I still have a lot of work to be to to you know do in terms of understanding the lighting because I still don't get it oh, I don't fully understand it I'm just showing you guys my progression on what I figure out myself so yeah pretty much I can just have a bunch of people talking here and it's gonna look really nice yeah th that's the atmospheric fog but I don't think you want to be using that really all right ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen that's pretty much all about it for Unreal Engine and um, you know you can go ahead to add a level sequence call it level sequence here and uh, let's just add in a camera and then you know you can go ahead to animate your camera and put in actually let's do something let's see so this will be the camera angle so I'll go ahead to oh look at that this is to zoom it in then we wanna yeah 
I don't usually I don't usually use Unreal Engine camera. I just think it's complicated again. But again, you know, you get used to it really. I'm still learning y'all. You can see I'm still learning. I I I am not perfect in this, you know. I only I only I export my animations from Cinema 4D onto Unreal Engine and just add some CD and populate my scene, make it bigger, you know, like a world a real life world add some fog and do a little bit of tweaking with the lights and that's it I, that's what i use unreal engine for and again if i want to have like tree simulation i use unreal engine or you know grass so yeah but this looks really nice i'm really happy with the results though the stars kind of too much <laughs> i'm just gonna put it at one because stars are pretty far away Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to see you guys next time. Take it easy and peace.